a billion and a half Christians routinely go to church on Sundays and ceremoniously eat the body of Christ, drink his blood. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. Jesus said that. How dare you? What? Who have I offended now? How dare you take a holy sacrament literally? Is that not done? You have equated it with a vile and despicable act. I apologize, Your Honor. I certainly don't mean to indict Holy Communion, but let's not carry on with the idea that the notion of cannibalism offends the sanctity of life. It has roots not only in sacraments, not to be taken literally, but also Greek mythology. It's still glorified in certain sections of both the South and I believe Malibu. And I might add, it's not illegal. There's no federal law, no Massachusetts law that criminalizes cannibalism. That's why Mr. District Attorney, my name appears second on the ballot this November. Ginsburg has trumped up these other charges, desecration and so forth, and lectured you on dignity and sanctity. There is no dignity in starving to death. When a homeless person is left to rot on a slab, the sanctity of life somehow gets trivialized. Mr. District Attorney, my name appears second on the ballot this November. Ginsburg wants you to be offended. You know what offends me? We have in this country over a million homeless people. The government can't feed them, can't give them shelter. But hey, let's spend sixty to seventy thousand dollars to prosecute one who tried to stave off debt. Let's spend another forty-five thousand a year to imprison him. There is no dignity in that. It's cruel. Mr. Nichols was cremating his friend to prevent the indignity of the unceremonious and degrading decomposition of his body. As for why he ate, he told you he was starving. When was the last time you starved? How about you? I know you're not starving except for attention. Let's face it, the only reason we're all here is because cannibalism makes for good television. What better to satiate some pre-election hunger pangs than a belly full of media attention? Mr. District Attorney, my name appears second on the ballot this November. Ginsburg knows that. That's why he's handling this case personally. Not only does it give him a sensational platform for his shameless self-promotion, it also fits his notion of society, that it's not about understanding the homeless. It's about prosecuting them. Kind of makes you wonder, who here is really the cannibal?